Anyway, we have this for now. Let's just pack it up and try and send it over there and see what happens. There's something weird about the way the jet engines are working right now, though. I'm just gonna go with overwhelming power down here and hope for the best. We probably want hydrogen tank at the a uh, hydrogen tank at the bottom to feed that. So maybe maybe something more like this. Great. Okay, so now boosters. Because this is definitely not gonna be balanced. I don't know if it's gonna be balanced with boosters or not, but. The space plane needs to keep its as much of its fuel as possible so that it can get back into orbit around Lathe afterwards. Mm, we haven't put RCS ports on it, but then again, whatever is rendezvousing with it could just do the docking, hopefully. But maybe we should, um, RCS ports aren't very heavy, so maybe we should just put a few. Let's just keep the boosters simple, maybe. And finally, Sceptrons. But we have to do this right so that the boosters don't end up hitting the wings or anything. It doesn't want to... It doesn't want to stay there. I click it. And then it comes along with me. Gosh darn it. We could probably turn off engines on this side in order to keep the balance. Maybe. Okay. Let's try it and see what chaos erupts. I'll try without any struts for now. Okay. Alright then. Ignition. Or countdown. Ignition. Okay, we'll go straight up for a little bit. Or as straight up as it's going right now, anyway. Okay, turning. Probably throttle down. I would like modding. Proper modding. It's a big chunk of KSP-1 that's still not... Still not quite right in KSP-2. Okay, we're past the speed of sound. Uh, there are mods for KSP2, but they're not like properly supported. There isn't actual modding tools. Making part mods in particular is especially hard. For now, I'm not using mods because, you know, if I have problems, I want it to be clear that it's a stock game. Okay, I do want to get rid of the boosters. I think we can transfer fuel from the boosters into the main tank and that'll help. Okay, let me just get the stuff out of the boosters. If I can... Methylox. Well, yeah. Okay, let's try that. In, 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 in. That should be right. Okay. Alright, off they go. Okay, we, we have to turn some of these off. Okay. That's Orbit. I don't particularly like how the right-click menu doesn't show anything in this version. Mainly, my problem is with the Parts Manager and Resource Manager. More than this view. Though, I feel like having the heading be such a prominent part of this thing is not necessary when we can pretty clearly see our heading on the ball. It seems redundant. 
I'd still like a gizmo that allows me to adjust the maneuver nodes without actually pulling the handles like this. Oh, especially since it disappears too many times. Well, that should be good enough. We'll do mid-course correction, of course. Oh, wait, did it, where did it go? Come back. Ah, uh, no. Okay, stay there, please. Okay. I just realized that the space plane part doesn't have a way to regenerate power, and right now it's getting power from the RTGs from the car shark in the cargo bay. Oh well, we'll deal with that later. It's probably not gonna be able to make orbit anyway. We'll have to make sure that the little Kerbal that's currently inside the plane moves into the car shark so that that Kerbal does not does not perish. But then if the Kerbal's in the space plane, then the space plane will take less power. Hmm. Actually, I think without the Kerbal inside, I also didn't put an antenna on there, but uh, it could be all right with the internal comms because of all the stuff we have around around Jewel already. I started a little bit early to make sure that we can go to 100% power since the balance could make that a problem, but right now it's okay. So as the fuel drains from this side, we turn off more of these engines to maintain balance if necessary. Another thing you can do is, if the right-click menu actually did things, uh, move the fuel from the bottom tanks to the top tank will help the balance as well. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of the external tank. Let's see where we're at as far as our transfer is concerned. Okay, we're not quite there yet. Okay, continuing. Oh, we went too far. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing my orbit come in at all. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we got an encounter here. So I'm just going to create a maneuver here and then we'll fix it. Okay, maybe I should correct this earlier rather than later. Oh, no, I didn't want to control. I wanted to focus. Ah. Uh, oh, this is the worst thing to try and go to. Highest probability of disaster. Hello? Uh-oh. Wait. This- oh, phew. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, that seems to be in 38 days. That's not right. Okay. Why would it take 38 days to get there? I think I'm on the wrong orbit. And that was probably many years and 38 days. Oh, heck. Um, okay, here... Okay, what what is going on here? Here it says 20 minutes, right? And I just want to push it past 20 minutes. But then here it goes to 38 days and jumps to the other line. And it's not really 38 days, it's probably like a few years in 38 days. Hold on. 22 minutes. 5 years in 38 days. What? I mean, why can't I just make one in an hour? Come on. Okay, over here. When it crosses, it gets confused. I was just dragging the maneuver node there. and But when I dragged the maneuver node, it accidentally dragged it onto the different orbit and I can't make a maneuver note here because when I try and okay let me turn the camera here it seems finicky for some reason but all right we'll probably have to refuel this maybe we should send a refueler along before following following this to lathe Hey, 
It's not keeping track of it. No, oh, come on. Well, we'll capture a round jewel initially first, as usual. I'm not getting a great lathe encounter or anything like that. Okay, so we'll go with this. And that'll be a mid-course correction, and we'll leave this be. Let's send over a refueler since this isn't going to be topped off by the time it arrives or anything like that. And I'll probably need all of its fuel if it's ever going to get off of Lathe again. Okay, we just need a refueler thing. Maybe we should just send another sphere. Is there any reason why this can't transfer the fuel to to our space plane? I think it'll be fine. Though that's, that's a lot of mob propellant that we don't really, really need on this. But I don't know what else to put there. Maybe just an extra hydrogen tank? Why does this have such weird shading on it? Uh, I didn't put the solar panels back on. Where did they go? Alright, new solar panels. Well, we're gonna call this the Sphere 2. But we've got one more problem. Uh, it's docking port. It's top docking port does not suit our space plane. So we're going to replace that. Okay, let's launch this so that I can eventually refuel the space plane and then attach itself to the station. Leaf planter launch on crashing trajectory. What? Uh, I trust that's some other bit of it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it shouldn't be on a crashing trajectory at all. Okay, well, even though it's a little bit dark here, we'll just launch. Oh, why are you going off to the side there? This went more sideways than the shuttle, and the shuttle had more reason for it. Sort of nice look to the landscape uh, given the time of day here, though it all ends up the same color with this particular lighting from the sun. Well, overheating for some reason even though something's inside the fairing. We don't have sound anymore. You know, hold on a sec. Let's take the opportunity to separate the fairing. That's also not normal. That's very not normal. Fairing should separate outward. There's a lot that's not right about these fairings. Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back. They actually hit me and knocked something out. No. Oh gosh. They actually uh they actually betrayed their own fairing base, I think. I think they knocked out the fairing base. Okay, okay, let's just try that again. I don't know what to do about the fairings really. They're they're huge and uh I don't think I can adjust the no, I can eat. Uh, I'll increase the jettison force, but I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Alright, let's go. Hey, well, at least we get this view again. Okay, booster set. I feel like we didn't get as much efficiency out this time. Okay, let me try and get rid of the fairing, but this time we won't immediately, like, try and thrust forward or anything. Well, a little bit more outward because of the ejection force, but still not ideal. Okay, let's coast. Oh, they all disappear. I should just time warped to make them all disappear. 
All right, that's an orbit. I think I should just go now. This this number four is just totally wrong. Why? Yeah, that little bar is constantly confused. It's one thing about the UI that doesn't seem to work at all is this this burn timer box. <laughs> This is a refueler, so we do have a lot of Delta V. We don't want it to use all of it. That's where I just saw a potential ELU encounter. It's in the right position for one, then we cross its orbit, because it crosses within Jules' orbit for a bit. Okay, let's just see. I think we just want to do a mid-course correction at this point. Okay, so we have a mid-course correction that will bring us close to Jewel, uh, 400 kilometers-ish, and we are off with the refueler, which will also eventually attach itself to the station, hopefully, being in use station module. So, will this all work out as far as our leaf plans are concerned? It's tough again. The Mark III shuttle that we have right now, it doesn't fly particularly well, but I've said that about the other things too. So, it's going to be a toss-up. We'll see how it works. But I think I'll leave it here for today. So anyway, for now, with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.